Welcome to Digress, a podcast with the sole purpose of sharing the passion and love for film together. In this show, you'll dive into the minds of the hosts to explore and comment on all things movies and entertainment while getting a little off topic along the way. Welcome back to Digress. I'm Jinx alongside my co-host Danbo and Coco. Danbo, what you got for us today? So, um, recently we had a huge, huge, huge movie come out. And it's been getting a lot of love from the fans, the casual audiences, the moms, the dads, the grandmas. Everyone's been loving this movie. It's called Madam Web. Dude. <laughs> no way, bro. Just did that. No, I'm Everybody hated this movie. This is literally one of the... It's like, it's weird because like, I feel like I say this often where like, this was with Morbius. We're like, oh my gosh, it's the worst movie ever. Like, it's beyond terrible. But now people are saying that like, it makes more... Madam Web look, makes Morbius look good which is like a crazy statement to say. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to start off today by talking about Madam Web. What did you guys think of the movie? Um, and I specifically have a question for Coco. Um, so don't get too into it, Coco. But yeah, okay. go ahead and start with Coco, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I always have one of these weird feelings that like movies, like there's going to be one movie that's going to make everyone change their minds about how superhero movies have been doing. And I, for some reason, I don't know why I thought Madam Web was going to be that movie. Like I knew from the start that it's, it wasn't going to be like perfect. Then when I watched the movie and I kind of like started dissecting a lot of the things, like for starters, the movie starts very weird. Like it has like all these office weird zooms, which confuse me for the editing. And it uses kind of like cap cut editing. Like it's really weird. Like I feel like it uses like templates for like how it was filmed and stuff like that. So it's, it, I mean, that's not only the problem with the editing. It was like, I feel like a lot of the dialogue was like very monotone. I feel like actresses like Dakota Johnson shouldn't be in a role where they're like literally diminished to not like put their skills out as actress. Like it, it's actually really bad for them to be in movies like this, you know, for their for their repertoire as actresses and stuff like that. So I was like pretty disappointed to know that, I don't know, her as the lead wasn't what I was expecting. And it didn't really feel like she was a lead. And then all the other actresses just kind of felt like they were in there, like wasting time, honestly. Like I felt like they had no purpose being in there. It was just really messy. I wasn't really digging the story. The story gets like, it gets very confusing. There's like a lot of plot holes. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel I, I watched Morbius after I watched that movie. You did? And I, yeah, I understand why it's a little bit better because at least Morbius has like some structure and like it knows where it starts and know where it's and yeah, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's kind of corny. Yeah, it's kind of silly. But at least the movie has some structure and it knows where to start and it knows where to finish. Madam Web just like it didn't know where to start and it didn't know where to finish. Like I felt like it was rushed from the beginning and rushed at the end. And then the, the middle was like, okay, I don't know. I would say... I disagree in the fact that I think Madam Web is slightly better than Morbius. It's oh. not by it's not by much. So don't lose your minds over here. The first person I've heard say that. Like, I think crazy. it's slightly better. I don't think Madam Web was the worst superhero movie that I've seen in the past couple months. I think Aquaman was worse than Madam Web. I think I've rewatched really? Aquaman. And What'd just for say? like, because it's like more like visually, at least I'd be entertained visually. You can turn off your brain and just like watch Yeah, it. I can I can turn off my brain and know that something mm -hmm. at least is happening on the screen that I would be interested in watching. Not so per se like immersing myself in the story, plot, and all that stuff, but at least watching. Okay, that makes well, sense? I, I disagree in the fact that I think I've rewatched Madame Web purely for the joy of it being as bad as it was. No, just for memes. Have Uncle Man... Aquaman, I wanted to leave the theater. Madam Web, I did not. Madam Web, I was like, this is so bad. I have to know what ha what happens next. Aquaman was a hard to watch. Not gonna lie, it was like, hard I'll to be watch. In there with you, yeah. Do you think, no, Jenks, you like? Because you're the first person I've ever heard say that you enjoyed Morbius more than Madam. Or you enjoyed Madam Web more than Morbius. Same with Aquaman. But do you think the reason is because you went into it like with such incredibly low expectation? Like was like. You know what I mean? Like the worst expectations possible. Do you think that Absolutely. was Absolutely. Absolutely. I've been telling people I walked into that movie thinking it was going to be a one star and it was a two star. So uh, <laughs> that's double. That's double. It, it doubled my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, basically the same things that Coco said. I mean, it's just like, yeah. like it just felt like they didn't take any time at all perfecting the script the writing. I mean, there were times me and Coco have talked about this. There were times where you could like see that the um 
the uh, words that were being said did not mount like match the mouth movements, especially like the, the villain. Dude, the villain was such a letdown. Yeah, he dude, was I... so he was so monotone and felt like he didn't really like, like one wanna, dimensional. Had no he didn't want to be there. Him and Dakota Johnson just felt like they did not want to be there. She she gave me like Twilight Kristen Stewart. No vibes. way. Okay, well that that was the entire point of, 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 of like her in, in Twilight. I feel like no, that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's her character in Twilight. That should not have been Dakota Johnson's character in Madam Web. She should have given us a little bit more energy there. I I don't know. I feel like also like just know that what she wears in the movie, twenty minutes in, is what she wears. And everyone else wears throughout the entire movie. It's like a car- rest- it's like a cartoon where like Bro, the character crazy, like dog. like it's never like, changes characters. It's like they only I mean, had one clothes. budget for one like set of clothing, and that was it. Like they don't change clothes. Like nothing happens. Like the thing is, like a lot of people were expecting them to change into these suits by the end of the movie, have a big fight or something like that. Two minutes. And like we saw those like leaked photos of her in the suit, so everyone was like, "Oh my goodness!" Like she's gonna like you know suit yeah. up with all the four other. And and and, and by the way. And that like leaked photo, she, you could see her eyes. Like she was looking like she was like not blind by then. And then by the end of the movie, the third act comes around, everything wraps up, and you're like, oh, so no suits? So no, and then, no, no, and no, then nothing? right at the very end, they're like, here they are. And then it ends. Dog, it's <laughs> it's crazy. Like it's actually insane. The suits, the suits were sick. They looked really the suits cool. Do look nice. They do what does look that nice. matter? I blinked. That's and what they I'm were saying. Gone. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. They wasted that. I feel bad for the three actresses that got to play the three Spider Women because they're probably they probably signed on like, oh, I'm about to be a Spider Woman. It's bad. They probably it's bad film to, these scenes. It's because with of the, the, suit market, on. the marketing. The marketing. The marketing team like did the movie dirty. Like if you know that the, that's not going to play a big part in your movie. Do not market it. Like, do not put it they, in Yeah, they spaces. should not have shown all the suits. Like, like I, I respect, like, the studio making a movie like this and stuff like that. Like, I know it's not easy and stuff, but, like, do not market things that are not going to, like, you know, that you're driving people to watch the movie because it's you're showing these suits on screen. But if they're not going to happen, like, you're actually going to piss more people off mm-hmm. than you're going to make people mad, like, if you never showed, the, like, if you yep. never, like, with that being suits. With that being said, though, you can't deny that it had one of the best marketing campaigns of a superhero movie in a while. What marketing campaign? I did not see anything. <laughs> Bro, I saw so much marketing for this movie, and they did <laughs> they did they did, yeah. they did so much stuff, and they put this thing everywhere. I'm not saying it was like good marketing. I'm just they saying it was more everywhere. Than too honestly, yeah, more than Blue Beetle, more than Aquaman. Blue Beetle, yeah, I mean, the Flash. I think was the last thing that they marketed this heavy. You're right. Yeah, you're right with Doesn't that. Doesn't Sony go I, really hard with their marketing though? Sorry, doesn't Sony go really hard with their marketing? Anyways? They do. So that they know that they have to over rely on it. But like, it's so funny because like I've seen all these interviews with like Dakota Johnson talking about the movie, and they're so like I can't tell if <laughs> him. like I literally can't tell if it's pregnant. Like she was like like there was this one guy who was like he showed her a, a comic of Madam Web. He's like, how does it feel to put this character on screen live action? And she's like, oh. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh yeah. yeah. Dude, I saw I saw this in her eyes. You can tell she's like that you're like she knew <laughs> that the interview like everyone is gonna be disappointed with this movie. Like it's crazy. Like and she does this in like all the interviews for the movies, and it's like, I don't know. Like I literally like I don't know what happened in the production of this film. It's crazy. Yeah. I saw I saw an interview of this one guy, like I think he had just watched the movie. He's a creator, he had just watched the movie, and he went to interview uh Dakota Johnson and uh, the director of the movie, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Oh, I just watched Madam Web, and uh, I mean, yeah, it was it was really good." And she was like, "Oh, it doesn't seem like you really like the movie, huh?" And the guy was just like, he was just on the spot. He was like, "Oh no, no, <laughs> bro, it was comedy. Like I would have hated to be in them shoes. Like, but like yeah. you can't like it's it's like you cannot lie to the people that worked on the movie and tell them it's like the best thing you've ever seen. Because, that would be like, doing them a disservice. Yeah, that's what we doing a disservice not yeah. only to like." the studio but like to the following movies because like we still have craven coming and yeah. if craven is anything like this craven's not gonna be i don't think it's gonna be as bad well okay i thought that yeah. about madam webb because dakota johnson is like you know b-list celebrity at best and she wouldn't sign on to something if right. it wasn't like right. you know gonna be good for her but Grand also right way bigger yes but also her management didn't know well her management didn't tell her that this was an mcu and she thought it was mcu and she went to elizabeth olsen and asked her for advice and stuff like that so she was like super hyped and then she found out like oh no like this has nothing to do with the mcu i just gave up 
she yeah like and they changed the script apparently like it wasn't supposed to be like what she signed on like everything changed a little bit more and then Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield not only that but the story was completely different when she like signed on to like do the movie like it was supposed to be like a Terminator movie where it was like Ezekiel was going to be from the future he was going to come to the past try to stop Peter Parker from start... ever being born yeah that's what I I remember when that leak came out and I was like this is going to be a good movie and then like I can see how they change it to like oh three spider woman like you know Ugh, it was just like what we could have had would have maybe been a little bit better and but the thing is too like sony's movies have been so bad like if craven just does if craven if craven is okay it will that's be the good. second it will be the second best <laughs> sony spider that's, that's, that, and that's you venom a or carnage over like which one do you have for venom, or carnage? venom one carnage so i i didn't know but there's like I feel like everybody hated Venom 2 or like thought it was painfully mid. But like I didn't like Venom 2. I'm, 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 I'm not saying it's the greatest like... not saying it's the greatest movie out there, but like the, something about having Carnage and Venom in the same screen. Yeah. I don't know, dude. It kinda like brings a, Venom one though. I generally thought Venom One was like a good, fine movie. I liked I liked Venom One a lot. Venom I... One is good, but the only thing that like cut it for me was that I rewatched it like two weeks ago and then I realized that Venom shows up in the movie up until like the first hour and like 20 minutes and the movie's one hour and 50 minutes so he doesn't show up in the movie until like literally like an hour and 20 minutes into it yeah but i still think it's fine because like i generally think like watching eddie brock in that movie like he's a good character he's no, a he is good he's a i like that to watch on screen it's know? a great origin story movie yeah yeah i agree and for me venom 2 venom versus carnage it's just like it was so bland like it really was just like so- it I it Crazy. felt like they were they just felt like they just made that movie to make make the, the post credit scene with yeah. Tom Holland. Hey, bro, That's... potato potato, bro. The same thing. Like <laughs> we're we're ranking movies that all at all the fun. spectrum. Like they're pretty much on the same wavelength. Like it's not like yeah. Madam Web is here, Morbius is here, and then Venom is here. Like they're all right. pretty much riding that same wave. They're just a little bit better than others and stuff like that. Dude, Craven I... Craven has such a low bar to hit. <laughs> it's like we'll be happy you know what? Be the best uh, and like. i will say and i want to know what you guys think about it is like i think a lot of it really starts from i think i think the actresses don't really have anything i like, can't do wrong like they're doing their job they're just a vessel for what they're given right but, like it really starts with the people that write these movies like absolutely uh, yeah, only, no, i know that the act. there's only so much there's only so much actors can do like when they're doing this movie like I from like before this movie came out, I realized that the person who wrote this script was Matt Sazama. And I realized that some of the like he wrote Morbius, which yep. was a letdown. He wrote Power Rangers, which the yep. only reason I ever liked that movie was because of how nostalgic Power Rangers was to me. Like I will say that movie was awful, that awful too. Yeah, you nostalgic. And he wrote like Dracula Untold and and the gods of Egypt, all of which are like pretty mediocre movies. So like my only thought is like when the studio is looking for a writer and they're like, all right, we need to sign someone here who like can obviously bring this to life. Oh, let's go to like the most mediocre writer of all time and give him a chance. Like how, like how, like, what like, do you, th- what do you think he's going to give you <laughs> exactly what he's been giving everybody? Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand how a studio can watch. It's, like it's wild how hard it is to find a job in like real life. You know, like people with master, people with master degree, ma- master degrees are struggling to find jobs. People with PhDs are struggling to find jobs. But then this man, who has like the worst track record ever, is getting you know budgets of like two hundred million dollars to make these movies. And I am so you know, sorry. You know, for- it's like how is he continuing to get these jobs? Like I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry for anything I said for uh, Quantum Mania. I would rather watch oh, Quantum Mania. Oh, on I agree. Repeat. I agree. Like it's crazy. Like I know they they're both not as good, but. Compared to like comparing something like this, it's it's, it's kind of crazy. And and like I said, the writer is one thing. Production right. and actresses are a different thing. But it really starts from what you have on that piece of paper. And if you don't have someone to like quality check this these things, like I think Sony doesn't have, or they do, right? Jenks and then like, does Sony have what Kevin like what the MCU uh, has, which is someone that who, like overlooks those I projects? Of. I mean, I'm sure they do. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they do. Like a lead, yeah. manage all the projects. Yeah. Well, he sucks, and he oh, should yeah. not. Yeah. He sucks, or like whatever it is. Like they need someone who knows what they're doing, and I think the producers even said that like these movies are missing homework, and yes, they're missing a lot of homework because I feel like they just take an idea, a character, like 
Morbius, Craven, and, and Madam Web. The and Batman they're just like, all right, movie. let's create a world around them. No, dude, you have all the source right there. Use the source. Yep. Take like blueprint of movies that have worked with that same origin story kind of character that you want to use and just like literally do the exact, same exact thing. Yeah. I, don't... I have a question, Coco, and I'm What's generally that? curious. So you went to the world premiere for Madam Web, and I, I genuinely want to know this as an inside scoop. Like when the movie ended, <laughs> and all yeah, you had all these you know critics there, all these movie critics there, these movie influencers, big ones too, Soup, Stry, Goofy, and all those people. What was the like? Was there like a weird like vibe in the room of everyone just being like, "This is awful"? Like, did people like cheer or like out of like sympathy? Like, what was that? Like, five That's minutes cool. after the movie just ended. So it's not even like the fact that like I will say like after not even after the movie ended, but like. For example, like when the movie was playing, like Dakota Johnson wasn't even watching the movie, which is like, no, no, she went home. Yeah, <laughs> she wasn't. She, even watching she still the movie. hasn't seen it. I don't think she still hasn't seen it. So yeah. to be fair, she when, she says that she doesn't watch most of her movies. It's not just that's fine. Movie. I completely mm-hmm. understand that. But like for example, when she came on screen, she was the lead, right? No one clapped. But suddenly, after like Sydney Sweeney popped up, yeah. like the entire like room started like clapping. Like really, like, they didn't make sense to me, right? Yeah. So when everyone walks out like what i've seen in like screenings and other things like influencer events and stuff like this happens is that people will usually gather and kind of like discuss the movie a little bit you know kind of like dissect it and just like oh that was really fun this one everyone just walked out and kind of dispersed <laughs> and i i went to i went to i went to angel blu-ray angel by the way you guys yeah. have to check him out one of the homies i went to angel and he looked at me and he was like <sighs> he was just like for Blu-ray Angel to have that reaction, yeah, crazy. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> I went up to him and I was like, "Dude," and he was like, "Yeah." So it was like, you know, like I there wasn't a lot of talk. There wasn't a lot of like people clap, but it was like a very short, like maybe fifteen second clap, and everyone walked out of the like out of their seats. Like I know how people said there wasn't any like you know post credit scenes and anything, but usually you still stick around just to mm-hmm. see what the credits have to offer, dude. It was like empty like this. And it's actually it's it's pretty sad because like a lot of the actors and actresses that played in that movie were in that theater. So like you can only like, you know, like they know they're not dumb. Like they know yeah. what they sign up for. It was not the best thing. So it, it's kind of like I don't know if you should be proud. Of course you should be proud because it's like, you know, that's took a lot of hard work. <laughs> but the backlash of everything you're gonna receive, the comments, the the reviews that you're gonna read later on the internet, I think that could like, you know. It could have hurt. It could have hurt. I don't know if they were on social media or anything like that, but um You know movie yeah. awful when all of these TikTok reviewers start start their review with thank you with all the workers for the, your work. No, but that's <laughs> sure. that, that's how you know a movie is terrible. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah, you gotta with- start it like that. You gotta start it with uh <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry for what I'm about to say, but um <laughs> But like it's it's true. Like regardless of whatever any opinion we ever have on on, on movies, if you, we like it or we don't, a movie does take a lot of work to do. Like regardless of script, actresses, production, like everyone who works in the studio to make it happen. But you still have to be honest about when something doesn't work because if you're not honest and you're just riding the wave of like, oh, this movie is great, this movie is great, this movie is great, then guess what? Movies like that are gonna be like are gonna continue to be done. Like and. The, the genre is going to die out. Like I didn't put this in my review, but movies like this are why the genre is dying and why oh, people oh, don't yeah. really, you know, why people don't really trust in the genre. Like if you tell someone like, oh, do you like superhero movies? They're going to think like, oh, like mm-hmm. they're not going to think like old Avengers movie. They're going to think about like all these new superhero yeah. movies that are coming out like really bad and, and, and bland. And it's it's almost very like, you know, sad to think about where we're going with these movies. Like if Craven does this again, I don't know, like what, like I don't, I don't think, I don't. Do you, I don't know, bro. Do you Jinx and Coco? Do you guys think Venom Three, which comes out this year, it you, has to? But do you think like, what do they have to like? What do they need to do for the? Because I mean, usually with, I mean, I know it's Sony, but like usually with the third movie of Marvel, they usually try to do something really big, right? Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what they have to do, what? and you guys both know what I'm gonna say. Spider Man, yep. you have to have a Spider Man in it. Yep. You have to. And it's going to happen. If they have Andrew Garfield in the movie, it's already doing well. It has to happen. That's the rumor, apparently, that it's going to be him. It's going to be a couple more people. But essentially, it's that's how it's going to like that's how Venom is going to get the uh, Spider-Man logo on his chest. Um, Oh, yeah. So it's kind 
it could be in like in a way of like Spider-Man No Way Home where Venom 3 would be like the final origin story to the character with him. Yeah, it's the, the final movie. solo Venom movie. Like this yeah. is the last time Tom Hardy will ever be in a solo um right. in a solo movie. Um and outside of that, like even so, like that it's Venom, like sure, Venom is gonna do well. Guess what? Because Venom is an A-list like character. Morbius, Craven, and Did Madam Web are B C What's up? Didn't the second one flop, or am I imagining that one? Let, let, let there be carnage. Yeah, I thought that flopped. Uh, none of them flopped, but the second one wasn't as well received as the first one. Well, I meant just box office sales. Mm, they both did really well in the box office. Really? All, all you have to do, like honestly, I don't know how they if they have the rights to do this, Sony, for right now, but all you would have to do is pull like a Deadpool three. Yeah, and and call it Venom and Spider Man or something <laughs> like that. I'm being for real. I'm like, I mean, if right. if you put Spider Man in the name of the movie, people are gonna go see it. Like everybody's gonna go see it. But Sony does anything but use Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know if that's a, if if they don't have the rights to do that because they gave it to Disney. So I don't know. You no, know, they do have the rights. They just <laughs> so they could do that if they wanted they to. Yeah, I just well, but you yeah, know, maybe too, because like I'm sure you guys have seen like like. I, I do agree. Like, I think Venom 3 has a good chance of having, like, Andrew Garfield. You know, maybe Tom Holland. Like, at least one Spider-Man, Peter Parker, that we've seen. But it's interesting because, like, we've had... We've been, we've, we've been getting all these rumors recently about Spider-Man 4, Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4, being another multiverse Spider-Man movie. Even bringing back Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire again for the fourth movie. And a lot of these rumors are saying that it's not Kevin Feige fighting for this it's sony that's being like we want spider-man 4 tom Holland to be another multiverse movie of so, course they would it's because they spell they the cash they spell the like, cash does that have anything to do with venom 3 like you know because it's it is such an odd choice if they were to make spider-man 4 another multiverse spider-man movie with toby and andrew uh, i don't they won't do that i don't think disney's gonna because everybody is calling for wanting like a yeah, like a Spider-Man movie. That's all everybody just wants a street level villain Spider-Man movie, and I think that's what they're gonna do because they 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 hear it and they're gonna have Daredevil and all like the street level people in it. They're not gonna Every- try to do like a big No Way Home again. That's what they want to do, though. I don't think they will. Too much of something is bad. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I, yeah. Too much, and and another one of this is just gonna fatigue everyone. Like, like what? Like the surprise of No Way Home was that like this was the first time you see like the multiverse like that. That was fun. Now, if you're going to make another Spider-Man 4 movie and make it another multiverse movie, like I'm just going to expect the same thing. So this, the level of excitement and surprise is not going to be the same as if you just, you know, it was the first time. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just hard because it's like I still want like at least the MCU to incorporate. I mean, we still have we are going to get Venom at some point in the MCU, too. We have that little sludge of his. I feel like it'd be like the perfect it's time for him to show up as Secret Wars. Yeah, I mean that's when he gets the. Yeah, that's when he shows up in the comics. So yeah, yeah. I mean, Spider Man is supposed to lead Avengers Five, but we'll see. That's crazy. <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man, and the Fantastic Four. Welcome. <laughs> that's insane that I think about it. No, it is. It is. Yeah, we we need to be really thankful for like well for like know. Dead for Deadpool three, and you know Superman. And uh, Fantastic Four Fantastic coming out Four next year, and the and Batman, Batman too, because and like because the they're coming at a perfect time where like P- the superhero movies are getting down, like downhill. Yep. So we need these Part to pick it the, back up. Five is about to be, be the best movie. The best it's year. really yeah. about to be. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, even De- but Deadpool this year is gonna make a billion dollars yeah, easily. Easily. So I mean, we're, we're gonna be back. We'll be back soon. <laughs> yeah, we're in the process of remaking right now. <laughs> um cool so on the topic of awful terrible movies i wanted to ask you guys if you guys have any just awful movies you guys want to talk. and it could be like awful like it was so bad it was fun kind of thing but like yeah just anything that comes to mind it doesn't even have to be like a hot take or anything just genuinely like trash movies which i have one that i kind of wanted to talk because it's it would throw it out updated. i was gonna ask if you guys <laughs> because it's in recent discussion, if you guys have ever seen the original live action Avatar Last Airbender. Uh yes, I just watched it two I just weeks watched ago and it. I talked to Jenks about it and I was like, I I wasted time of my life. <laughs> I'm actually making a video tomorrow about what happened to the kid of like that played Aang. <laughs> what happened to the kid? <laughs> Bro, he Poor got guy. bullied. He got Poor literally guy, bullied yeah. and he quit Probably. acting. I made it like the video's ready. I just have to edit it. 
Guys and that's one of those it. that's one of those things we were talking about. Like that's like honestly not the kid's yeah. fault. Yeah. It's yeah. not the kid's fault. I mean, that's what stinks about it. Yeah. It's 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 crazy because like even if you don't have like, you know, like a subtle idea of what Avatar the Last Airbender should be, like if I told you what it was in like 30 seconds, you would at least get an idea of like what the vibe would be for it. But this movie literally, I don't know what but it completely shifts and it tries to be dark. It tries to be like mysterious and like very adult like, and it it just doesn't work, bro. And it's like it doesn't. It's hard because it's like bad. And 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 the, and the and the sad thing is that they were trying to do like a trilogy from it. And you yeah, can tell it's from obvious the first they movie like that it was they... never gonna happen. <laughs> it's also one of the things that like Avatar: The Last Airbender just generally works better as a show. Like it really does because it's all about like yeah. it's, it's an adventure series. It's an adventure like you got to flesh out the characters. Like yeah, the characters... You, it's all about, yeah. Spain. Me and my me and my girlfriend were talking about like um we because we just rewatched the entire series again and we were talking about episodes that they would have like episodes that they could leave out of the first season to Miller. still make it make sense. But there there really aren't any. Because we were going through watching them. To the characters. Like we every- were going yeah, we were going yeah. through watching them. We were like each one of these episodes gives you something else about the characters that you did yeah. not know that's important moving on. Yeah. There aren't it, really that many filler episodes. It may not be important to the plot of the overall story, but it still plays a very big part into like the characters' like development and how they flesh out later in the series. Like I, I got, I understand what you're saying because I was watching the, a couple episodes, like a couple of the first episodes. And I was like, "Does this really gonna matter later on?" And then I was like, mm, "Maybe not to the plot, but I can see how it's gonna work towards the character and like how they're gonna learn certain things." There's like, one episode that I I think that they left out of the live action. And it was the Great Divide where they have to cross the canyon with like oh the, yeah the with, earth. The, with the Earth one and they like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but like that one I would say probably is the best one to leave out but still it like it furthers the character of Aang being like the the unity and peace between um, like among people it shows you like Katara and Sokka's relationship like it's a good episode <laughs> and and like it furthers the like not the plot but the character arcs of you know. It's crazy how that movie has like five percent on, on on Rotten Tomatoes. Like it gave it five. five. It gave it. Like, it gave it an, that it much. Low. <laughs> <laughs> it gave it that much. Five percent is like actually insane. Like I I, I, I remember watching that movie in three D because that was like the oh you watched three D. Whoa. I watched it in three D, yeah. and I remember like feeling numb after that movie. Like I was like, like that was not fun. Like. And I was a kid, like I was like thirteen or fourteen, so like I would have understand like what makes a good movie a good movie, but that movie did not hold up well. It's crazy how because the person that um I don't know if you guys have seen Split, Split and um old and like all these like Knock at the Cabin, like the director of the movie is like very known for doing thrillers and like mystery like dark movies, and that's M. the Night same Shyamalan. person that made this movie. Like yeah, like who just like chooses one of those directors and decides oh yeah this is the perfect person to make a, ch- a children's movie like perfect yeah, it's so it's insane it's so weird my name is ung <laughs> my name is ung <laughs> and i am the avatar my name is ung like poor kid no yeah and the kid, <laughs> and, the, kid. And, the, and, the, and the thing about this fun you guys will see it in the video tomorrow but he was like an ex he was like a black belt in like martial arts so he already had the whole like moving thing yeah. like down and stuff like that he was like a black belt by 12 and like not only that but like he shaved his head every single time so his friends started calling him like avatar and like he was like what is avatar and he went to go watch avatar and he fell in love with avatar so he was like a huge fan and then he finds out he's like cast in the movie he does the role of ang and then no one likes him and he's like this is probably the worst thing ever like i don't like avatar anymore like it's insane um i wonder how it feels about live action it's been too long he'll probably be fine bring in another yeah, note of the, another how old is he now he's probably like he's like 27 yeah he fell off the face of the earth we yeah. don't know where he, he basically, is in my video is. i have this very clever line you guys are gonna like this um jenks i say from all the pressure and hate he got from playing ang he became the real life avatar and completely <laughs> went missing vanished from the world <laughs> hated him the most that's pretty good actually <laughs> he so vanished funny. just like he the is. avatar bro when the world hated him the most he vanished <laughs> awesome <laughs> we'll, ch- we'll check back in in a, a 20 21 20 or whatever 21 10 and then 21 10 yeah 100 it's years insane. after that movie was made it's a, it's um i was thinking we were just talking about this and like another movie that i feel like i don't know it's like pretty bad but it's somehow really good 
I don't know. I don't even know if I call it good, but we're just talking about this, like the Percy Jackson live action movie. Like I feel when it came out, it was good. And then I grew up and then I actually watched it. I just read, finished reading the book. So I think it's because of this, but it's got the sauce though. It has sauce, but it's I feel got like the sauce. It has the sauce, but the pasta is a little bit too stale, bro. Like I feel like, you know what I mean? It's hard it's, to do. Yeah, no, it's not that good, but it's got the sauce. That's why I don't watch my favorite movies from my childhood. Cause I'm like, wait, what's your favorite childhood movie from the, your childhood then? I mean, I don't, I'm just saying, like, any movie that I really liked as a kid, I don't watch. Yeah. Really like, I think I did a mistake by watching that movie. You know? Yeah. Because I was, like, pretty – I was I loved that movie when I was like, – in 2010, like, I, I, I think that was, like, my top five favorite movie. And then I watched it now, and I was like, whoa. Like, this is a Disney Channel movie. <laughs> like, it's uh, bad, bro. It's bad, but it's it's fun. It's it's fun to like bad movies at, to a certain degree. You know what I mean? The yeah. Power Rangers movie. That one's good, but that's just me being nostalgic. It's so. not good, but it's good because I like yeah, Power yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's not good, but it's good. It's got like the it's, sauce. It, they Some don't show up until happen. like two hours in. So, <laughs> dude, God, I was so excited for that movie. What about out. you, Dan? What's a movie that you think is like bad, but like you know, so bad? I don't know. I feel like I'm not. I don't know because like, if it's if a movie's like awful, like I'll be honest, like I'll probably just not. Like I'm not gonna like I. <laughs> I can think of any movie that like I it's so bad that I liked like I'm just not that type. it's not my type of humor like like it's not my type of entertainment if it's that bad you know what I mean I'm trying no, that makes sense that makes sense fair enough I feel like I feel like there's times when you watch a movie not knowing that it's going to be bad and it's those times that you find out that the movies are bad not so much as like oh I'm going to watch a bad movie just because it's because like it's more like oh I'm going to watch this movie not knowing that it's going to be bad and yeah. then be surprised at the fact that it is actually pretty bad. This I mean, that's, the that's movie. the reason people watch Hallmark movies, like Hallmark Christmas movies. Oh, that's insane. What are your favorite types of movies? Hallmark movies, Hallmark <laughs> Christmas movies. They're that's all true. the exact same. One movie popped in my head actually. Um, and it's not necessarily like awful. It's just like overhated for like, Oh, it's not even overhated. It, it is hated um, for like pretty good reasons where it's like, oh, it's like the humor and all, and like it's just a bad movie. But it is low key my comfort movie. Give it to me. It's uh, Sausage Party, which is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> it's really embarrassing to say that. But like low key, like it is awful and it's like the humor is so bad. But like, I don't know. Like it's just so dumb that like I'm just like, I can watch it. Like, you know what I mean? Like just turn on my brain and just like watch it. Like it's just. It's, it's better than the emoji movie. Oh, the Emoji Movie is a good. That's a good choice for a terrible movie. It's not even fun. It's not even fun. It's not. I fun. I only saw it once, and I remember not liking it. I remember the idea was like fun because that's when emojis like really started like you know becoming popular and in conversations and stuff like that. But it's boring. It's just boring. I watched it's pretty it. plain. It's pretty plain. Yeah, I watched it in the movie theater, and like I was a kid too. Like it's not like I was an adult. Like I was like. 13 or something you know and because i was like oh my god the emojis or whatever and then i watched it and it was like, so boring it yeah, was, was pretty so bad boring it was just like nothing we're nothing there it's you know what, plain. Um, yeah you know what movie does remind me of which is also awful it might be my least favorite movie of all time which is um wreck it ralph 2 i think uh, that movie is so bad have you guys seen it worst movie of all time not of all work. time like it's my a downgrade of the first, first one, one. Wait, no, well, the reason I say it's my personal uh, worst movie of all time, because not only is it boring, not only is it really bland, not only does it not have any good villain, but it also, like, it is such an obvious, like, ad, ad for, like, eBay and, like, all these, like, product yeah. things. You know, like, that's what, that's what I remember that so bad for me. Like, you just watch the movie and you're just seeing, like, all these brands, like, oh my gosh, eBay, 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 50% off, you know, it's like... How am I like? It's like it's so like it makes the movie so much more worse. Knowing like you know a lot of brands saw it as like oh wow Disney's making this movie off the internet based off the internet it's gonna be funny it's gonna get a lot of to sell watch it. Yeah, we were I will they're gonna be willing to pay millions of dollars to include their brand in this movie and it just sucked the soul out of that movie and it just makes it feel like a giant like an hour and a half minute commercial. I agree. You know, I that's fair. Agree. I still think it's crazy that you think it's the worst movie of all Personally, time. I think it's my personal one, just because I really like the first one. The first one is genuinely like one of my favorite modern Disney movies, and then just the second one is awful. Yeah. Okay. That's true. That's true. I feel like I, I was thinking about Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh, that's great a, movie. yeah. Great Shark movie. Boy and Lava Girl is like great bad, movie. but it's like oh, it's if you so put bad, it on but... TV, I will watch it. Like I don't care. Like I just. You know, I think it was like an era 
an era of spy kids when i was a kid that i felt like those movies were just like oh dude like the action like i'm entertained like put this on mom like dude, I will spy watch... kids three went crazy Dang, bro i watched that in 3d as well holy crap oh spy kids 3d i remember those commercials oh, that was <laughs> insane like actually like, th- that was the first time i ever felt like the world really like i really like if there's one movie you should watch in 3d without a doubt is definitely spy have to like a spy kids bro like i don't care when you know when they shoot judy spy into kids, the moon yeah, with the chance to be bald, but yeah yes when they shoot up juni into the moon and you just see juni like come out of the screen i was like Whoa, that's crazy <laughs> or like you know when they're fighting with that like guy that has the goggles and he has like that one stick and the stick comes out with a dude yeah the claw stick dude. scene <laughs> when they're like fighting on that like platform that's like that's bro crazy. So you know when, and, and and when they lose lives and like their thing comes out of their chest and like i was like oh my dude it's crazy remember like, when I, I uh like I remember needed- when Remember when Frodo had like a thousand lives and it came out and it just ticked all the way down yeah, to zero, like negative. Yeah, yeah. It was like negative five or whatever. That's crazy. I love that. Yeah. Oh, dude, I just saw something. You, you guys heard how Henry Cavill is going to be like in the MCU? Doctor Doom. I just made a video on that. Yeah. Uh, I just saw something that he could be, and this is actually gets me pretty excited, but I think he, like he could be Cyclops. Scott I've Summers. seen a lot of fan casts. Yeah. For- Ooh, I, I made a I, I made a video about who I think he could be, and Cyclops was not one of them. And then I started I like seeing that. that. Yeah. Like Captain that. Britain is like the most like obvious one, or like Captain. Captain Britain, I said like... I said Captain Britain, Doctor Doom, or Hyperion. If you know who see, Hyperion, Hyperion is, Hyperion is good too. Hyperion is good too. But Doctor Doom, I just don't see Doctor Doom either, just because he's such well, a like. Maybe the, what, the reason I said that um, is because it's it's so recent, and yeah. Fantastic Four is just now like releasing it's their awesome, casts and yeah. stuff. So, like, timeline-wise, right. it would make sense. It would, yeah. But That's I just crazy. don't see Henry Cavill as a good... I don't either. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. He's too noble. He's too noble. To, to Doctor Doom? Yeah. yeah. I feel like the Doctor Doom has to be, like, a slanky person. I like the guy... I'm dumping Killian him. Murphy! Killian Murphy. I was about to say Killian Murphy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Killian would be perfect. I think so. But I don't. I feel like Killian would not ruin his status that he's on right now with like Oppenheimer oh, no. and all these different movies with like joining the MCU. I, I don't know if that's like his yeah, thing right know. now. You know when you just hear, like you just know when, when you like reach a certain status in your career, like you're either, you either start in the MCU and then you go to do great things such as like Zendaya and the MCU and Josh Brolin. Zendaya's Thanos, first, Zendaya's Thanos to do. Shake it up. Let's, Easy though. Yeah, Josh yeah, Brolin. Like you, Josh you know Brolin, what I'm saying. Josh I'm Brolin was cooking. Thing. Josh Brolin was cooking way before the MCU. Yeah, Josh Brolin was, but like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah, now they're yeah, like A yeah. list status type of thing. You don't go from A list and then start like because I feel like MCU is becoming B list. If I'm being completely honest, when it comes to movies, like people are not as excited to go watch these movies anymore in theaters. It, it, like back, yeah, back in the day, seats would sell out for the M like for movies. Like, and nowadays. You don't even have to worry about getting tickets like in sure. advance. Like there will be tickets when you want to go watch it on like release date. It's insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, y'all got any more? Just terrible movies. I'm trying to think of some from like like Spy Kids level. I've seen Max Steel ones, but when I was a kid, and that was pretty pretty horrible too. Which it's like zero percent it? on Rotten Tomatoes. It's, it's weird. It's zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes is actually insane. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that you can actually like do that is crazy. Have well, you, it's, it's you know. Have you guys seen? Um, this is like I don't know if like this was like a huge, like a very popular movie to make videos on, like YouTube videos on in like 2014. This is like considered one of the worst movies of all time. Um, food fight with with the guy oh, from Oh, I remember the guy that. From, uh, Two and a half men. It's so funny. What's his name? Food fight. You never seen that what it's remember. called. I remember it's that. Really, you look it up. It is like one of the most awful movies of all it's time. It's an animated movie? It is animated. And it's like the way like the way they like animate those characters. Their characters are so bad. Like you you wouldn't believe like if you watch the movie, you think it's a joke. But Ew. it's not a joke. Like it is genuinely repulsive to look at. The animation is dumb. It's so bad. But it has what Charlie Sheen, is that his name? The guy Charlie from Charlie Sheen and Hillary Duff. Yeah, like it has a stacked cast, which is crazy. But it's such a bad movie. Like, like, it just signs up on things like this. I'm like, yeah, this sounds good. No. Like, it's, it, I wouldn't even say it's bad because that makes it sound better than it is. <laughs> 2012 is insane for having the, uh, for having like that sort of animation. I know. Yeah. I just yeah. thought of another movie that I absolutely hate. I think I've talked about it before on here. 
Hmm. X Men Origins Wolverine. Mm, I've seen the movie. You know, One honestly, of my least favorite movies of all time. Really? I, I honestly like. I mean this. I wa- I have seen that movie, but I completely forgot. Like I don't remember it. Like it's, it was really forgettable. Like, I, yes, pretty, it's, it's actually pretty movie. forgetful from all the other X Men movies. And butchered, I'm watching... butchered so many good characters. Just that yeah. movie butchered Gambit. Them. You know, you know. Don't I even get me started, Gambit, bro. I was obsessed with Gambit when I was younger. I still I like, am. I really want. <laughs> I, I love the animated series, and Gambit and Cyclops were like my top like five x-men like of all time and then i was really excited to know that hey they were gonna like introduce they were they were gonna introduce gambit in that movie and it, it was like spotch like so quickly <laughs> they made him like, look like a punching bag they made him I look like a it. punching bag and he did not look anything like i would expect well you know channing like. tatum was supposed to play yeah. him in this movie yeah. but he like was doing something else and like couldn't do it. i remember dude. every time it was like oh channing Tatum is finally coming back as gambit oh he's not coming i was like whatever dude this is at, at this point this is just like it'll never happen type of thing but i know oh, that if ryan oh, reynolds but it's is happening type, now it is happening i know for a fact that ryan reynolds is the type to like bring people like that back um how he's gonna look like the thing is like if they do bring them back i know that they're gonna be like a once one and done type of thing because it's not like that's fine with me that's what they did with john krasinski for for um for you know mr fantastic which i honestly would have loved to see him as reed richards but whatever if they do gambit and it's just channing tatum for once and done i'm I'm fine with it i just need like a new set of a uh, i need a new set of x-men which brings me so, to what do you guys question. think of the x-men animated show the trailer is so, so excited so it oh, looks so, so sick like actually, the like the fact that they <clears throat> kept it looking like the original yeah. animation, but like made it like a modern yeah, they made style. It newer. It, it's wild. Yeah, it actually blew my mind how they pulled that off. Like I'm I was like done. I'm almost done oh, with a rewatch of the animated series. So like I when wish, I watched, what if looked like this? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like how what if, I don't like what. I mean, it what looks better looks than like. what if. Yeah. What, what if, if looks look, so like I don't know, like awkward, and uncomfortable. What if looks like? What like, if looks like what Polar Express would look like? If, if the yep. an, MCU animated it, yeah. you know they looked I mean? like they looked like they tried to just like animate it so well that everything looks CGI. It looks like commercial, like commercial animation. Yeah, yeah that's a good way to put it. It looks like an ad, like yeah, yeah. It, it's weird because like I I haven't even watched What If season two. Me neither. I'm, I'm almost done with it. I have like three Here. more episodes. There's eight episodes. How are you almost done? I've watched five of them. That's almost. See, that's crazy for because like I don't really see the need I, I like sure like it's like i'm a marvel fan and whatnot but like i don't really see the need to see watch something that isn't gonna i love them i think they're really good i think the animation style is iffy but i i love the plots and stuff i mean they're entertaining to me so i yeah. genuinely liked uh what if the what if season one episode of the zombies the zombie apocalypse. oh i liked I mean, it the I first season was good it. that was fun i didn't like the humor <laughs> because it was <laughs> overdone and not funny but i actually really like that episode no yeah. i like i like the plot of all of them i think they're interesting and i put them on while i'm doing other stuff because i mean they they <laughs> entertain like me. a background show you're yeah, saying they, background show. It is a good background show. they entertain me you guys should definitely like i feel like we have to do a, a, a rewatch or a, a watch along of something um that deserves a reaction or at least like a talk through yeah um yeah. and i feel like a good good movie for that should be like a really old movie maybe like a, a movie that you guys think like you know maybe forgotten like i just did that with x-men and i forgot how good the first x-men movie is yeah like well, straight up like a really good i'm gonna movie. go through and watch all the i'm gonna go through and watch all the x-men movies before that's what i'm doing Deadpool. right now yeah that's what i'm doing right now i well love... let's 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 ask them then if you've made it this far in the video <laughs> uh you should comment down below what movie you want us to to do a yeah. watch a watch through of That'd all three of us watching it together don't don't put anything weird just, no you know, put something. put weird stuff food fight we're all we're all, we're all about it <laughs> food fight that'd be crazy <laughs> hey me with my mic on muted the whole we'd time. be like th- we'd be like three two one start <laughs> what just what was that <laughs> like five <laughs> seconds in what just happened there I we would like never get through that bad movies are necessary because you, you need to know like you know how much it, how how much work it is to make it's, a good it's a movie. yin yang it's a yin yang you need to know like the good and the bad right like yeah. there's no way you're only watching five out of five movies out here like you have to at least watch a bad movie once in a while 
to humble yourself and remind you <laughs> humble that, yourself <laughs> to humble yourself and remind yourself that good movies are not a given they are hard work that deserve a lot of you know what are blood. you humbling yourself from no because you know how you don't deserve think- good movies all the time that's be true. humble that's true be humble that, that, i did watch yeah. I did watch a really, really good movie though on Coco's recommendation recently, which I don't even think I told you I watched it. Um, what? Society of the Snow. I took your recommendation. Oh, dude. It really was a, good, that was dude. a multi uh, recommendation. I know, that was like more episodes before, but dude, <laughs> yeah, I think everyone watch was it. recommending from left and right. <laughs> did you watch it? Did I you like it? I also recommended that to you. Oh, did, did you? Did you like it? Yes. I loved it. Oh my God. I love, see, I love sad movies. That's my thing. I love sad movies. Like, I love like tragic, like, I love tragedy. Like, I do. So watching that movie, I was like, like shook like i'm not did you lying. watch I it in love... spanish no i should have that's fine that's fine i watched it in I, spanish i didn't I... either dan that's fine <laughs> i just thought like the i just thought the actors are spanish the movie yeah, was filmed there. in spanish so like if i'm gonna hear like their like honest reaction mm-hmm. to like how they're yeah this is going. it's like the anime like how you would watch it in japanese because you want to like actually yeah. I watched it in, in, in Spanish and it was crazy. And then there's this one thing that if you guys are interested in knowing more about the movie, there's like this 20 to 30 minute mini documentary about oh, how the movie like, was made. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw that. Yeah. You saw that, dude. It's crazy how these guys were like actually losing weight, mm-hmm. like from the beginning of the movie until. Really? The, and the way they filmed I was wondering that, about that because like, you see the difference throughout the movie. Of yeah. Them. So they filmed that chronologically. Like, how did they make Dude, like, there's no way they're gonna make these actors starve, you know. No, but they they they, they had like a dietitian and chronologically the movie was filmed chronologically, and then that way they could lose weight. Wow, so slowly. That way they like could lose the weight. Yeah. yeah. So That's- they could only eat like an egg a day or like salad and no like protein at all. Um, That's so like the they're, they're, first of a superhero movie. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they were like really into it too. And then the avalanche scene, you know, oh. the avalanche scene, which is crazy. That mm-hmm. avalanche was real. Are you talking about the one where they're in the plane and the snow barges in, or the yeah, one? and then it's just like and they're just like under they're the, under the snow. Yeah, they just like pop up like they're like. Oh, it was like real, like they actually got avalanche and oh. they went under this tunnel, and then, so they would literally had to break under the tunnel and come over the snow. But they're like the snow was real, like it was actually Jeez. cold. Like I it was thought, actually freezing. Yeah, I would well, I would read like a bunch of like I would just read what the survivors thought of like the movie and all that. And it's like everything is super realistic. It was like the one thing like then it was super minor. Like the one thing that wasn't that was changed in the movie or kind of made up in the movie was like when they were trying to get out of the av- avalanche when they were stuck in the plane and the guy was like kicking the window open and he cut and he broke it open but he cut his foot or like hurt his foot by doing so. Yeah. In reality, he didn't do that. What happened to his foot is that someone accidentally stepped on it while they were sleeping. And because obviously he was like in so much pain already, like them stepping on it, like, bro, like you know, the ruined. Yeah, it's but that was like the only major, that was like the only major change of the movie. Everything else was super accurate. Okay, well, we need to stop talking about good movies. Uh, so to to end to end the episode real fast, I want you to think of a really bad movie. Just say the name, and that's how we're gonna end the episode today. Okay, Coco, go. Uh, really bad movie. Yeah, go quick. First one you think of. Um, <laughs> dude, I can't think of anything like that on the spot. Can you give me a sec? Can you go to Dan first, real quick? Dan, go. Uh, Lilo Stitch Two. That was pretty awful. I didn't even know there was a sequel. Is that real? <laughs> yeah, 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 there is a sequel. It's <laughs> oh, okay, <good. laughs> that's a, that's an acceptable answer. I'm gonna go with uh, Do Little with Robert Downey Jr. Terrible movie. That's crazy. Really? You don't like? Wait, Doctor like Doctor Do Little? Yeah, with one? no Do Little with Robert Downey Jr. Oh, you like know? the original one. With Robert Downey Jr. Oh, 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 that's a remake. Sorry, sorry. That's it's like a remake. The, the most remake. Of- it's awful. I see. That's one of my. Mo- that's a movie I've seen as a kid, and I liked it. And now, like, I guess I shouldn't rewatch it. Dude, I wouldn't watch that in theaters when it came out, and I was like, "This is terrible." I couldn't even like watch it. Really, I remember <laughs> that movie being pleasant. But <laughs> go, go, hurry, go. Um. Okay. Uh. The last two Spy Kids movies, because I was actually excited for more Spy Kids content. Oh, and- the newer ones. Yeah, the newer ones were gotcha. awful. Like they are unwatchable, if I must say so. Like I don't know what demographic they're looking for, but it ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you haven't seen those movies, go watch them. Do let us know them. in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> let, let us let us know what your least favorite movie of all time is. Uh, and with that being said, but I digress. <laughs>